Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of New Giants Island. This is a map by MX11. It's 538.71 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, this is, uh, well, let's just go ahead and read the description, then we'll go ahead and get into it. So um, it says, experience the beginnings. Welcome back to the map from Farming Simulator 2009, pure nostalgia, but with some extra. There are 29 fields available on the map for, from small to large. Three different forest areas give you direct access to forestry. Some fountains are distributed as water sources and, of course, the sea. There are also collectibles. Look forward to an exciting search for gold pieces. There are over 20 points of sale as well as all standard productions. The seasonal growth has been adapted to the mild climate of the island. Many objects are only visible during the corresponding season times of times or weather conditions. Sorry, I apologize. Apparently, I can't read them this morning. Um, in addition, the farm has already been equipped with storage facilities as well as a cow shed and a few chickens. By purchasing the districts, a sheep, a sheepfold, a pigsty, and a BGA can also be used. In addition, friends of Auto Drive can be pleased. A course is already integrated into the map. Added an iron purchase station and corresponding points of sale for the new products to support the Platinum DLC and its Precision Farming DLC supported. So there we go. Um, yeah, here we are starting out new farmer mode. Let's go ahead and hop into the menu. I'm going to go back up here. Um, starting out new farmer mode, we own land 45, 15, and 23. So field 15, 23, and then this chunk of area here. Um, you can buy pretty much everywhere on the map, it looks like. Oh, maybe not. You can't buy some of the peripheral areas, but all the fields, of course, you can buy and a lot of the, the big chunks of land through there. Um, yeah, there's a lot actually you can't buy. Never mind. Hey, take it back. I take it back. But anyhow, um, yeah, some little nice little points that they have kind of mentioned on there and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, very cool. A lot of you guys are probably having some nice nostalgia here. I'm trying to think. I don't think I ever played on uh, FS 2009. I think my first my first FS game was 20, 2011. Maybe the one right after. I think it was 2011. Yeah, I think it was 2011 was my first uh, farming simulator game. But regardless of that, let's go and hop into it and keep going here. Um, everything here is pretty much standard. Um, there shouldn't be any added crop types. No, nothing on there crazy or anything like that. We have a lot of equipment starting out in new farmer mode. Um, we start off $100,000 um, in new farmer mode. Then we got a little bit of income from our property because I fast forwarded some time. So we must have like some solar panels or something somewhere. Um, I fast forwarded the time up to noon just to get us so we could have a better lighting. We do have chickens starting out and a cow barn. Um, there are contracts in the fields we don't own. Uh, we don't own any production chains starting out. And there are, again, 100 collectibles. So pretty cool. Um, I'm going to turn, uh, it should be in here actually, automatic engine start off. There we go. And let's take a look in the store at our starting equipment. Start off with a Fent Fabric 515C. We also have, oh wow, two Fent 1050s and two Fent 942 Varios. No, three 942 Varios, four 942 Varios, sorry. Four 942, good gravy. Uh, we have an ideal, our Fent Ideal Harvester. Uh, we have a pickup truck. We have two uh, Krona GX 520 trailers. We also have a header for the fence. We have a decent sized cultivator there, decent sized direct drill seeder. We have a fertilizer and lime spreader there. We also have a front loader with attachments, just the bucket there. And we have a header trailer. And finally, we have one, two, three, four weights in here. So uh, three egg with 1500s and one fence 3300. So there you guys go. Let's walk around our starting farm. Right here, sleep trigger, water trigger right there, I'm assuming. Looks like we've got a dog as well. Gates open. I don't know how our dog got out there. Crazy dog. Um, over here, we have our cow barn. I believe everything is just pretty much standard. Is this one with the feeding robot? No, this is not. It's a standard cow barn. Some sheds through here. Over here, repair trigger, which just is really cool. To that You can drive it up there. You use the repair trigger. That's awesome. Uh, more sheds through here. Let's see, we got some stuff stored in there. Bunker silo and a silo starting out. And back over here, this guy. It's a hayloft. That's pretty cool, if it is. Um, yeah, straw barn. So basically a hayloft starting out. Um, this looks like a fuel purchase point. Yes, gas station, so you can buy fuel there. And we have our chickens right over here. Up to 50 of them we can get. We have more storage. Through here, big storage facility there. And then another storage barn up over here. Let's get that map on the bottom corner there. Um, so there's all that. Now we do own this field right here and we also own this field right up there so those are the two fields we have starting out there's a giants or a farming simulator 22 balloon flying around i love it fantastic empty bin there sorry i don't know why i looked in there usually wouldn't care that much um let's hop in our truck and what we're gonna do let it save us there 
Uh, we're gonna head out this way, and I think we'll head, yeah, we'll head over this way, and we'll head up around here, drive around down this way, down through here. I think the map's kind of a loop. Uh, we're not gonna drive out there. We'll see that stuff in the flyover. We'll drive up this way. We also won't drive out there, and we'll kind of finish out up over here, and that's what we'll do. So that is our plan to be able to, oh gosh, if I can not crash too much here. Oh, there's a wardrobe trigger in the back. That's why I needed to crash there. Every crash happens for a reason, and sometimes they happen for no reasons, I guess. I don't know. We got the big port over there, but we'll start heading up this way. We yeah, a really cool map. I mean, I know a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy this that have played on this on the original version. There's a little stuttering in the game. That's not from the game. I just updated the game this morning because that was the same thing that happened this morning when, or that's that's what happened when this, this came out as the game updated as well. So just something to be aware of. It does that for a little while when you first load up in the game. It's not the map itself, but we have a bakery right there. And then we have the uh, salutation eggs, cell station eggs. I was like, what in the world? We have bakery there. And then we have an egg cell station right there. A little cut through as well down to the other side and a little ATM there like that. All right, we'll head across here. Nice little uh, bay or harbor there. Another water point right there. We do have another cell station, it looks like, right here. We have the Grass Heaps cell station. So there we go. Tennis courts, golf course. Oh my gosh, that golf cart's driving around. That's awesome. Skate park through here. This is legit, guys. This is great. And then right up in there, we do have... Oh, we just have the kiosk up in there. Let's see, do we have a cell point or anything? Nope, we don't. Up here, we have a cell station eggs again. Another cell station eggs up in that little area right there. You can kind of see just the top of the trigger right up there. That's where another cell station for eggs is going to be. But we will continue on our trek around the greater Giants Island 2009. Or New Giants Island, I guess is what this is called. Right here, you can see we have our oil mill. We also have our sugar mill. There's another production back there. There's a cell point, it looks like, back there as well. Uh, we have ourselves the water mill. And then coming up, we have the tailor shop, fuel station. We have supermarket, cell station, eggs. Okay. See if I can remember that by the time we get up there. There we have the tailor shop on the right-hand side. Oop. Sorry, the shaders are still trying to load and do their thing. Um, there we go. We have a little ATM right there, which is kind of nifty. We have a fast food restaurant. I'm assuming that's that that is there. We have fast food restaurant. We have the gas station and the supermarket right there. And then there's a cell station for eggs on the other side of it, which is great. Right there, we have another grass heap cell point. At least I'm assuming that's what that is there. Yep, grass heaps. And then in this little facility here, which looks kind of basically like a garden center, we have ourselves a fertilizer tank for buying fertilizer. We have a seed for buying seeds, garden center cell point, garden center cell point two, and then the farmer's market. So a couple of different cell points and things in there. We do have some fields out here as well. And then right here, is this a point of interest or a cell point? Cell point, or no, animal dealer, animal dealer right here. So there we go, we got the animal dealer right there. Up here, we got a couple more cell points just on the left-hand side here. So we have ourselves the restaurant cell point and the local cell point. Uh, and right now, we're going to head down around here. We're going to head towards the port, and the port has a lot of different stuff going on. Sorry, car. Apologize for getting in your way. We'll talk about all the things that the port has going on, and then we'll continue on the rest of the tour. And then eventually, we'll do a flyover at the very end to kind of show off uh, the map from an aerial perspective. There's the other end of that cutover road that I pointed out earlier. We're gonna take a left here, head towards the port without hopefully rolling the truck, that'd be great. All right, the port's got a lot of stuff going on it. You can see automatic gates there, which are nice. Um, we're just gonna point out some of the things up here. So there's a couple different uh, um, points of interest up here. And then we have the sea exports fuel, so you can buy fuel there. We have the sea exports overseas import, so you can buy different materials there. Um, you have the sea export wood chips, debris crusher, sea export grains and roots, lime station, sea export windrow, C export over C export and C export wood. So a lot of different types of cell points in there. Um, again, what they take is going to be very easy to find out if you go into the menu and you're looking to go sell something. It'll tell you what places you can take that stuff to sell. So easy peasy. But yeah, 
Portsk, a huge, huge sell point area there. A lot of billboards are just passed there. There's a lot of billboards, honestly. Um, all right, and as we continue, right here on the left-hand side, we have ourselves the mill. Sell point there. And actually, we have another cell point up here. We have the pigsty, of course. The pigsty is right up here. Let's just drive up here and take a quick look. Not hopefully crashing too bad. So yeah, you got a nice little pigsty up here if you wanted to use it. There you go. We're going to just try to drive down this hill without losing too much control. A lot of speed for some of these hills, I think. Got to slow down a little bit. That actually went far smoother than I thought it would probably go. Uh, great processing unit right here. And then on the right-hand side, we got a lot of stuff going on in here. So you have the sawmill. We have this part of the sawmill there. Biomass heating plant. We have fertilizer tank there, lime station, seeds, um, ZG agricultural trader. And then we also have the gas station. And then up around the corner here, we have the carpentry and spinnery. So we'll see the carpentry and spinnery here in just a second. So yeah, a lot of good stuff on the map. You got everything you could ever need. Plenty of space to do whatever you want. Plenty of space to farm and everything like that. Here's the carpentry and uh, the... Spinnery? Spinnery. Yeah, spinnery. But, uh, yeah. Pretty legit. I believe this is just a point of interest here on the map. I'll double check, though. Yep, just a point of interest there. So we're going to curve up around, and the next thing we have is in our grass heaps uh, cell point. Let's head up here around the beach. You had a couple points of interest up there. I do wish, my only thing I wish is you could buy all the land on here so you could do a little bit more customization if you wanted to. Plenty of forestry right there, to be honest. Um, there's another grass heap cell point that we're talking about right over there. And then right-hand side, we have an earth cell point, and then we have the dairy here. So we have bakery and dairy, it looks like, right here, just to confirm. Yep. Oh, cereal factory? And now, did we pass the cereal factory up here? Well, milk, sugar milk? No, I guess we didn't. I'm a little curious about that. Um, let's go buy it and see if it actually is a cereal factory. Or if it's a bakery. It does say cereal factory. It's definitely edited, so hope we don't have enough money. I'm assuming it probably is that then. We're going to add some money in here. And it is. So we also can make oat flakes. Interesting. I'm assuming... They're different. They're a different product type. Are they are they located in here? Oh, at the very bottom. I missed all these things. I went way too quick, apparently. Corn oil, soybean oil, and oat flakes. So, a couple of new products in there that I completely ignored. I apologize about that. I'm glad we went on that little endeavor there to figure that out. Now, this left up there goes up to that BGA. We're going to see the BGA on our flyover. We're going to continue straight for now. And up over there... Yeah, that's where we're going. Just gonna get around these guys now. Oop, we're gonna take out that sign, of course. Didn't like that sign very much, so I decided to take it out, apparently. Uh, we do have, looks like a fuel station here. Let's get up into our menu. Yep, fuel station. We have this vehicle shop on the left hand side with one of our 942 burials. Guess we just ordered another one. NGI farm shop, cell station eggs, fertilizer tank, seed tank, lime station. And up ahead, we have a grass heaps and a fountain, which are just, you can see the grass heaps right there. So I think. From that perspective, I think we can just go into flyover mode. Let's go ahead and get this up and running here. So up here, grass heaps again. And at this point of interest up here, I believe. And then there's a fountain somewhere. Probably somewhere in the park here, the trailer park or the little camping park or area there. But that's pretty nice. I like that. I have a little camping area up there. Nice beaches on Giants Island, that's for sure. We have Stonehenge up here. Love it. We also have the BGA right here. Big old BGA. Plenty of space to do everything you need to do there. Let's actually head up this way since we come back to where we ended out. Roundabout. That's that pass-through road. Port's over there. This has got all that stuff up here. Um, like the golf course and everything like that. The golf course is really cool. Just kind of a nifty little, nifty little touch. It's not a crazy big golf course. Matter of fact, it's a quite tiny golf course. But... It's still golf course and it's cool. A couple little areas here. Little areas of interest. It's a nice little area up there. You got a, a well up there, it looks like. So our factories through there. And the ships, I do love that they're moving around. That is a big open water area. We're taking those guys out. Those guys probably don't want to go too far from the shore, especially the big ships out there. 
Got the kind of the garden center area here. There's a lighthouse out over there. Animal dealers just below us. And we have the huge port area here with all the different various cell points and everything like that. So huge area for all that. But yeah, really cool map. You got your pigs up here, some forestry there. Kind of your sawmill area here with another cell point. Got your carpentry and such over there, and your spinnery, I believe it was. And then over here, you got the starting farm. Good looking starting farm. Got that field right there, and this field right there. So plenty of room to expand around you, which is nice. And now over here, bakery and dairy, and you got the nice little lighthouse out here on this little area. So there you have it, guys. That is the map tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bells so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.